These five Final Cut Pro plugins can help raise your video's production value a ton. Hey guys, my name is Dylan, and this channel is all about filmmaking and Final Cut Pro, and let's jump right into why you clicked on this video. No beating around the bush. Plugin number one is a plugin that I've created quite a few color grading walkthroughs on, and some dedicated tutorials as well. It is Color Finale 2 Pro. This plugin essentially puts DaVinci Resolve color grading abilities into Final Cut. Not to a T, of course, but it is a huge improvement on the built-in Final Cut Pro color grading features. Let me give you a quick explanation on why I really love this plugin. It has some basic sliders for easy color grading and the ability to use false color, yes, but the real money is in this layers panel. In Color Finale 2 Pro, you can label your corrections, which is something we've been asking for from Apple for a long time. You can group them as well. There's trackable color correction masks. And the big seller for me personally is the ability to blur HSL masks. Let me show you why this is so useful. With the built-in Final Cut Pro color grading tools, if you try and push your colors around too much using a color mask, you'll end up creating artifacts. Color Finale 2 Pro has the same thing that Resolve has, which is a blur option for HSL masks. This this can help you to achieve a smooth color roll off, which will help your color grade look way cleaner. Also, this tab may interest some of you. It is called Six Vectors. It gives you quick access to adjust the color, saturation, and brightness of six different colors. This is something you can do with the built in color grading tools in Final Cut, but with this plugin, it is quicker and easier to adjust. The nice thing is, if your skin tones are a bit off in color, you can quickly just adjust the red hue slider till your talent skin lines up with the skin tone line. Also, you can create Create LUTs, which is pretty neat. So who should pick up this plugin? If you are interested in color grading or you want to become more proficient at it, I would highly suggest giving this plugin a shot. I'll put a link to a free trial below if you'd like to try it out first. Plugin number two is from the lovely people over at Motion VFX. And quick disclaimer, I do create videos for them, so I really tried to limit how many plugins of theirs that I put in this video, especially because I truly love all of the plugins they make. But maybe what I'll do is create a separate video on the best Motion VFX plugins. And if that's something that interests you, comment below and I'll get a gauge of how you guys feel about something like that. So the next plugin, plugin number two is called MFilm Matte. And this is an all around really cool plugin. It basically gives you options for different cinematic film frames, which seem to be very in right now. I know that that makes me sound kind of old. I don't know why, but it's true. It, it gives you preset options. It also has customizable mats. And the nice thing is you don't have to add your video into a drop zone if you don't want. You can just switch this to empty frame or background footage. It also gives you options for lots of different film overlay effects, like this cool blur effect. You can add a film burn effect, some grain, a drag and drop letterbox, light leaks, a uh, sprocket hole, vignetting. This plugin basically gives you lots of options to get that nostalgic rich feel in your shots. And it also comes with five titles, which is pretty cool, as well as five transitions and even some drag and drop titles, which simulate a little camera movement. This plugin isn't gonna be for everyone, I don't think, but if you're into that filmic nostalgic look, then give this plugin a shot. Plugin number three is another one from the king of plugins, Motion VFX, and this one is M Title Kinetic 2. This is a title pack that comes with 60 animated titles that were designed designed to look like the titles that you may see in Apple videos. But to be honest, even if you're creating an edit that is not an Apple style edit, maybe you're a YouTuber or you do lots of client work, these will be killer to use. They're fully customizable. Some give you easy options to add a color gradient on them and the animations range from extreme to minimal. For me personally, as a creator, I love titles that are simple and have solid animations. And so this pack, this title pack, ticks all the notches for me personally. If you're looking for or some titles for Final Cut, give these a look, they are awesome. Plugin number four is called Beauty Box, and let me just show you what this plugin does first before I explain it. With Beauty Box, without Beauty Box. With Beauty Box, without Beauty Box. With Beauty Box, without Beauty Box. This is an intelligent skin smoothing plugin and it is definitely not cheap, I'm letting you know that now, but if you do a lot of client work, I think this can pay itself back tenfold. I've actually had one or two clients that have specifically mentioned that I made them look fantastic and it seemed to be one of the factors in them coming back as a recurring client. Even if you don't do client work and you just create content for yourself, you may find this plugin useful. It's basically a makeup artist for you or your talent in post. I don't use it on myself in my own YouTube videos as you 
you can see, but uh, I can imagine that to some of you that have your own YouTube channels, this may be of some interest to you. It's also really easy to use, by the way. Last but not least, we have M Film Look by Motion VFX. And if you like to create cinematic style videos, then this plugin is gonna hit home for you. If you really don't have the time to customize the look of your shot, you can use some of the M Film Look presets that come with the plugin, but I would highly recommend customizing your shot yourself. If you shot in a log profile, you can add a conversion LUT quick and easy here to convert your footage to a Rec. 709 color space. You can quickly make adjustments to your levels. You can add some vibrance in your shot, which will raise the saturation of the least saturated areas and keep your subject's skin tones at a decent level. You have tons of options for off-screen flares. You can add LUTs and Motion VFX also has a boatload of options for LUTs that you can buy. You can add some chromatic aberration, which I personally have really been digging recently. You can create a shallow depth of field in post with this lens blur feature. You can add film grain from right in the plugin as well some vignetting and some easy options for a letterbox. It's basically a one-stop shop in creating cinematic looking footage. And if you have settings that you consistently like to use, then you can save your own presets by clicking on this button here. There you have it, five plugins for 2022. And I actually have quite a few more plugins that I like to use. So if you enjoyed this type of video, please let me know that you did in the comments and I'll start making more of these. As always, thank you guys so, so much for your support. It truly means the world to me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.